Radiation therapy is a common portion of management for cancers. It's about half of cancer patients that end up getting radiation therapy, and half of those patients are palliative, meaning we're trying to uh, help with symptom relief, and the other half we're um, a component of cure. Um, often it, it can take the place of surgery, but sometimes it's after surgery or even before surgery. Um, it can be given by itself or with chemotherapy. It just depends on the nature of the case. Um, Photon-based techniques have been around for years, and photons are basically high-energy x-rays, and those techniques have gotten very sophisticated over the years, and they are still the appropriate treatment modality for a lot of situations. But now um, our center at the Proton Center opened in 2016, and we have the most advanced form of proton therapy, which is called pencil beam scanning proton therapy or spot scanning proton therapy, also known as intensity modulated proton therapy. And that's been a huge development um, in our ability to deliver proton therapy precisely and effectively and shape the dose uh, in the manner that it needs to go. And so proton therapy is great because it's able to go to a target and there's a total lack of exit dose essentially. So it can go somewhere and abruptly stop, whereas photons um, decrease sort of exponentially as they travel uh, through the patient. So protons are good at going to a target such as a tumor and stopping on a dime, which can be helpful for avoiding things that don't need to get radiation. So things, uh, critical structures that may be in vicinity of a tumor um, are nicely avoided often with proton therapy. And for me, that's really helpful because I treat um, cancer types that really benefit from proton therapy, in my opinion. Um, and so they're helpful for head and neck cancers, for basically reducing dose to the mouth and a lot of the swallowing apparatus, which can lead to less weight loss, less lack of taste, less dry mouth, both during treatment and over the long term. This helps people get uh, back to their usual level of functioning um, quicker than they otherwise would. So people seem to have less work absenteeism, and basically we're getting people to their pre-treatment level of function um, a little better with proton therapy. For lung cancer and esophageal cancer, we are very good at sparing the heart, and often um, that can be impactful because uh, the heart is very close in proximity to the target a lot of the time. and so. We have a big emphasis on avoiding uh, the heart and the cardiac substructures, um, which can help avoid a cardiac event years down the line.